Hi everyone. When I was out with my power wheelchair earlier in the week, the plastic cover for the seat belt came off. I took a look at it and the corner of the plastic had cracked. So the, the seat belt cover was no longer going to click in place and remain held unless I added some type of glue and put it back together myself. If you've watched many of my videos, you'll see that I like using the construction adhesive PL9000 because of its strength. What I've done today is applied a bead of the construction adhesive around the two edges of the plastic cover and then I've used masking tape as a clamp to hold it in place. So I want you to take a look at these two photos. You'll see the edge where the plastic meets the metal and here's the second photo again. My goal was to get one square inch of PL9000 in contact between the plastic and the metal. So the reason I've aimed for this goal is that the strength of it will be measured by the standard that the product is sometimes talked about in terms of. So this clamp needs to be in place for six hours. The masking tape that I've used says that it needs to be removed within 24 hours or the adhesive will leave a mark. If you're someone that needs to leave it more than 24 hours, the type of tape you can use is painter's tape. Some painter's tape are, mean, are meant to be left in place for seven days. There's other types of painter's tape that are meant for 14 day application before the adhesive will leave a mark. Now the plastic housing is only to keep the metal bar in place so that the seat belt doesn't come out. So let me show you what I mean. Take a look at this next photo. The metal bar you see here is looped in and around the seat belt itself. And the plastic housing prevents the metal bar from just sliding out. So I'm not too concerned about using and re-gluing the housing in place. In reality, the seat belt on a wheelchair is typically considered as the postural support and the reason it's done unfortunately is legally nearly almost political correctness the seat belt on a wheelchair isn't considered safe for transportation in a vehicle if you're being transported by your wheelchair, you should be using the vehicle's tie downs and the seat belt in the vehicle that's transporting you. So both of these should be bolted to the frame of the vehicle. You know, an incorrect installation of these can still cause it to be unsafe for use and something you should look in to make sure that if you do meet with an accident while you're being transported that your wheelchair will remain stationary the same idea as if the wheelchair was a seat in the van and that you won't be hurt I don't mean this as legal advice I've just had this exact conversation 
over the order of my new power wheelchair with the local mobility store. And unfortunately, in our day and age, so much of this becomes past the buck. I'm not assuming any liability. It is what it is. Okay? So knowledge is power. And I just want to see you keep yourself safe while you're being transported to your medical appointments and the engagements that makes life fulfilling. Thank you for the time today. Bye for now.